Welcome to Adventure to Anywhere. In today's adventure, we're going to... Lone Elk Park. It's going to be really fun. Um, supposedly, we can see um, all elk. sorts of animals. Elk, bison. obviously. Bison. Deer. Those animals. All <laughs> those animals. So, uh, let's head on out. Lone Elk Park is located right off of Interstate 44 in Missouri, very near a town called Valley Park. During the Second World War, the area was owned by the government. In 1948, it was sold to the county, but then once again reclaimed during the Korean War. Sometime in the 1960s, the park was repurchased by the county and was officially designated as a park. At some point in between the change of hands, the elk population was all but destroyed save for one lone elk, hence the name of this magnificent park. This location offers two ways to enjoy it. You can drive through portions of the park. While remaining in your vehicle, you can watch the animals as you drive by. There are also walking trails that put you in close vicinity of the wildlife residents. So we are in the bison area of the park and uh, we're looking for bison. Look at this guy. Hello, Mr. Bison. I'll leave you to your leaves. Oh, baby. That's a little... <laughs> he made a, <laughs> made a little snort noise. A little, little bison snort. What magnificent creatures. So awesome. Oh, it looks like this way is El Hollow, which actually is not. It's, it's that way. Science is this way. I'm confused. I'm always confused at science. I tend to have an interesting relationship with Canadian geese. The little feathered friends just don't seem to prefer my company. The ones here, however, seem slightly more charming. Your friends are in the street. Be careful. They're not my friends. I've had many run-ins with these fine, fine specimen of bird. Um, they don't. They, they don't like me for some reason. These birds. I've, I've had many run-ins. They have. <laughs> the more you talk about them, the slower they're going to go across this road. They're the ones that attack me. I, I didn't ever attack them. Because they're federally protected. You cannot harm these animals. These are. I'm assuming these are Canadian. They're geese. They're Where they're from, I don't know. Pardon me, Canadian geese. Don't hiss at me like you are. I mean, as, as much as they don't like me, they are kind of cute. Isn't that right? Aren't you a cute little bird? Hey, come back here. Now, here, here's an interesting uh, warning sign here. Leave your vehicle at your own risk because it is elk mating season. Now, this is a walking trail we can go up. And as you can see, it's kind of steep up there. So, looking forward to walking this. I'm not sure what this sign is telling me. There's three upside down bi bison here. I, I don't know. I really want to film this walk, but you have this little narrow pathway that you walk up. I was going to do a side-by-side -side shot to show both of us, but it's not really, not really possible. Awesome walking trail, though. It really is. Still back there? Oh, I'm still back here. Okay, good. We're just hiking along, looking for some bison. I hope we find some soon. Is there anything in there? Ah! I know I'm gonna laugh if something comes out at me. Now we can actually get side by side at least for a minute. Now the path has opened a little bit. So, you know, like she said, we're looking for some bison. There's supposed to be some bison on this trail. Haven't seen any yet, but we'll keep looking. But what if it's just called bison trail and there's not really any bison on the trail? <laughs> we're just, so it's just a, just a catchy name as opposed to a literal bison trail that's possible we could be wasting our time here actually we're not wasting our time here because it's really gorgeous but again i am being told here that there are bison this away here guys i don't know if you can see him yet him or her 
Probably a her. That's a, that's an elk, right? Do you know? I believe so. Look at this. That's just absolutely incredible. <laughs> just so calm. Doesn't even care that we're here. Beautiful. Just realized something. We just walked past the lone elk. It was an elk all by itself. It's the lone elk. We, we figured out the mystery. So this trail just keeps going up and up and up. And like you can see here, there's because it's fall time and all the leaves have fallen, there's uh, there's not much of a trail. I'm assuming we're walking on a trail, and we are. Um, but yeah, this is this is magnificent. Now we begin our decline down descent. Decent? A decent descent. So what if we got stuck here at night like we did on Zombie Road at night? You know, I would feel a lot more comfortable. Me too. Not that Zombie Road was terrifying. It was just, it was so dark. And, and you know, we did hear the spooky footsteps and all that fun stuff. But Zombie Road is another really cool place to go to. I don't know if I can do this justice on camera, but... Looks like we've got a steep slope ahead of us to climb up. That's okay, I'm up to the challenge. We've made it to the uh, to the top of the hill, or at least as far as the path will take you. Um, no bison yet, but uh, man, this is wonderful, beautiful place to come walking. You know, I think uh, 2020 has kind of been a challenging time for a lot of people, and this is uh, a really great place to just come and you know, honestly, just forget about everything. Because it's just, you know, aside from the physical demanding challenge, um, it's just, you're just swept up by, you're surrounded by nature. You're swept, surround, sur <laughs> trying to talk. Surrounded by just beauty. It's incredible. Look at this guy. Totally majestic. We're definitely gonna give him his space though, because there were tons of warnings. Kind of warning about their potential aggressive behavior due to uh, being mating season for them, but still, what a what a view. The fact that you can just walk around this park and there's just this kind of wildlife is just absolutely incredible. Oh, this is really beautiful. Um, this time of year, uh, fall with all the leaves on the ground and the, the colors on the leaves on the trees. But uh, I really want to come back here in the summertime. Uh, I'd like to see this completely covered, you know, um, so it's kind of in the darkness of the trees and all that. Might be kind of cool. What do you think? I think it would be pretty cool. Come on. It appears we are still going the correct way towards the bison. This is pretty cool right here. You just got a nice little lake stand up here on this mountain and kind of check out pretty cool but i didn't have the camera rolling because a few seconds ago oh i almost slipped a few seconds ago i saw an uprooted tree and i mistaked it mistook it mistaken there i go with my weird words again <laughs> for a for a bison so i'm glad i didn't catch that on camera but now i'm telling you about it about my foolish um capture so kind of like yeah it really is if you are a hiker of any sort or just love the outdoors in general man i i really recommend this this park uh i mean i've lived it's not far from where we live and i don't think i ever knew this was here and this is uh this is absolutely incredible beautiful place to come take a walk um just get away from everything there's nobody around really great it's funny that you mentioned zombie road because 
now I am starting to feel a little bit like that just in the fact that we don't <laughs> we don't we don't know how far we've gone at this point we we're just kind of totally enthralled at everything this has to offer and it's still 222 it doesn't get dark till about five so we've got time but uh yeah i could uh i could see yourself losing track of time here real easy we didn't catch any bison on foot uh per se we did see some when we were in the car but where did you go you're hiding why are there you there was poop and i didn't want to step in the poop <laughs> that's a good reason that's a good reason is it is it still there because you're still behind me Walked in it. I did? Yeah. <laughs> oh, thanks for the warning. Well, I didn't know it thanks for the poo warning. warning. You're welcome. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we we decided to go ahead and start heading back. Um, just because we have gone, traveled pretty far. So we're going to start heading back and see. Uh, um, we might drive around the driving part one more time and check that out once more. This would be really cool in the winter. Oh my gosh. I can only imagine this just all covered in snow. Not too cold. But, you know, like maybe after the snow has fallen and, um, you know, you walk this trail and you're surrounded by snow. Yeah, that would be, that'd be awesome. Even just driving through and seeing like all the elk and bison with snow on their back. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. We might have to come back to in the winter if it's snowing that day. Agreed. One of the things that you may notice in some of our videos right now is a lot of times when we zoom on things, zoom on the animals and stuff like that, um, we, we can only get it so good. That's because right now we're using our cell phone. We're using our cell phone for all the video recording and all the editing, um, which I think is pretty impressive that a phone's capable of doing that. But um, hopefully in the future, we can get a, a better uh, camera that'll help us zoom better and things like that. Better pictures. Yeah, better pictures too. And pass by once more to this guy. Uh, totally. <laughs> Magnificent, magnificent. We've got good enough distance where I don't think there's any risk of danger or anything like that. And he doesn't seem to care we're here. Now it's back up the steep hill once again. You know, it, it is, it's mainly because we're, you know, in the cover of trees, but it is starting to get dark already. Uh, however, I mean, it's not, you know, super dark. And I mean, if anything, it's, uh, like three o'clock, so we've got plenty of time to get back. If I'm shaking the camera, I'm pointing at the bombs left by some of the wildlife so that Jill does not step in them. Thank you. You're welcome. I need to invest in a hiking stick. <laughs> I need to invest in hiking shoes. All I have That's on easy. are these shoes that have, they don't even have like good traction they <laughs> i have zero traction i slip and slide all the time terrible for hiking so walking stick and walking shoes one side of the the hill and to be honest it was a <laughs> it kind of tired us out a little bit and uh, you know it reminded me the other day i i took my bike out I haven't rode my bike in a long time rode it around my neighborhood and there's something exactly not exactly right about my bike so it kind of works against me my friend had to fix it for me one time before and i guess it messed up again and i tried to go up this massive hill with the thing and yeah i'm pretty sure i almost passed out it was crazy we're as we're walking we're we're laughing at well me mostly <laughs> because at, at times i uh i tend to my mind moves faster than my mouth or vice versa and the wrong thing comes out at the wrong time. What was my what was my latest one? I was I was trying to say Ronald Reagan and what came out instead was Ronald Raisin. <laughs> Ronald, old Ronald Raisin. Ronald Raisin. I remember those toys, the, the California raisins. Yeah. <laughs> I just pictured Ronald Reagan and the California raisin. <laughs> There's a little Ronald Reagan California raisin. That For that's president. For president, but being serious here, I would totally vote for California Raisins and Ronald Raisin. <laughs> I couldn't even get that out. So we'd really love to hear from you guys in the comments. We'd like to hear if uh, if you've been here before, if you've been to Lone Elk Park or any of the other um, locations that we visited. Um, I know Zombie Road, we got a lot of response um, to people who have visited there. 
um, Ha Ha Tonka. A lot of people um, were familiar at least with the location. And if there's anywhere that you might want to see us go, now keep in mind, you know, we may have the inability to go there for whatever reason, but um, if you have thoughts or suggestions, please by all means send them to us. Um, our channel does have a uh, email link, so feel free to email us or anything like that. You can catch us on Instagram too. That's true, we are on Instagram. Uh, feel free to DM us. <laughs> now, we're coming up on this young lady once again. Ma'am, thank you so much. Your home is lovely. Um, thank you for having us today. You know, I think what's amazing about what we're doing, when we initially started this channel, um, our initial thought was to make this a Disney vlogging channel, and that could still happen one day, but um, because of certain, you know, things, financial restraints, um, you're hiding from me again. It's a narrow path. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't want you to fall. Um, you know, uh, certain things like that, and, and even just the current situation of things, um, you know, it, it kind of changed things. But the great thing is, is it kind of helped us find places like this. It encouraged us to go out to places like this that uh, we may not have thought about going to. Um, oh, there you are. There you are. There's my hand. I'm so bad about that. There's my hand. Okay. Great. They're, they've been waiting for me. They've ambushed me. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed our adventure to Lone Elk Park. This is Adventure to Anywhere. If you are new here, please subscribe to our channel. We do weekly videos and would love to have you along for the ride. If you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up. Join us next time as we adventure to anywhere. You're gorgeous. You're gorgeous. I could stare at you all day. You're gorgeous. <laughs>